Hello guys, so today we are going to do a very interesting probability question with die again. So if you roll a die three times, what is the probability that the number come in increasing order? So for example, if I roll it three times, first time I get one, and then I get a two, and then I get a four, that's considered a valid case because one, two, and four, they come in increasing order. But if I roll three on the first time, and then a six, and then a five, that is not considered increasing order because going from six to five, the number decreases. So we're only going to consider a strictly increasing case. Let's say if you're going to roll three, six, six, that's also invalid because going from 6 to 6, it, it's not increasing. How do we deal with this problem? First thing we probably want to try is, can we just enumerate all the increasing sequences? So basically 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 5, 1, 2, 6, and then Mm, one three four one three five as you can see this is getting a bit out of hand and let's not go this route let's think if there's a better way so let's first ask ourselves what are the criteria to get a valid sequence well we are basically going to roll three number a, B, and C. First criteria is that A cannot be equal to B and cannot be equal to C. So we have to roll three distinct numbers. How many ways are there to roll three distinct numbers? Well, for the first number, you have six choices. For the second number, you have five choices because once the first number is taken, you only have five choices left and then for the third number you have four choices so this product which is going to be 120 so there are 120 sequences where the three numbers are not equal so out of this 120 sequences you can imagine well sometimes we get one two three but other times we can get three to one. Well, this one to three is a valid case, but the three to one is an invalid case. So we want to ans answer the question out of the 120, how many of them are valid and how many of them are invalid? So that's, so let's look at this case. Let's say we have this three number, one, two, and three. How many possible sequences are there? Well, one, two, three, one, three, one, two, one, three, two, three, one, three, one, two, three, two, one. Basically, six ways. It's actually three factorial. Right? If you're given three distinct elements, there are three factorial ways to reorder them. And out of this six ways there is only one way that would be considered in strictly increasing order so we can actually generalize this idea more so basically if you are given three numbers that are different from each other there is a one six probability that they happen to be in strictly increasing order. So with the 120 sequences, only one six of them, which is 20 of these sequences, are actually in strictly increasing order. So that gives us 20. And now back to the original question. How many possible outcomes are there for rolling three dice? Well, that is six to the third power, which gives us 
55 or 54. Quite cool, huh? <laughs>